Traditionally, Trimble Access Roads works with road corridors and road design files, which typically consist of alignments combined with cross-section profiles or associated strings. The new Strings and Surfaces workflow brings the road's functionality to all types of line work and surfaces in Trimble Access. To use the Strings and Surfaces workflow in Trimble Access Roads, start by accessing the Stakeout menu and selecting the Strings and Surface method. If you don't have a road design in the file, then you can also just tap a line and press Stakeout. Begin by choosing the primary string, which will be the string used for stationing, and can be either a line or an alignment. You can select the primary string directly from the map, or choose it from a list of line work and alignments in the linked files. After choosing the stationing string, you have access to most of the road's stakeout functionality. But the flexibility to use that functionality with any line work selected in the Trimble Access map. First, let's look at the station on a string method. Choose the string you'd want to navigate to. Select the station from the map or type in a station value. To change the stationing interval, tap the station button to the right of the station field. If you want to stake at an offset from the selected string, then key in the desired offsets into the construction offset field. In the cross section view, you will be able to see the primary string, the stakeout string, and the construction offsets. Tap start to begin staking the point. Once you've measured the point, use the station plus or station minus key to move to the next point on the road. If you are not staking specific points or stations on the string, use to a string. I use this method for roading stakeout. I walk along the string until I reach the station I need, in this case, 805, and then I store a point. These are both great methods for staking out points along strings, but you can also use these methods to stake vertically to a surface. In the stakeout screen, tap Options and select a DTM. Extra stakeout deltas relevant to the DTM will appear and you will be able to see the surface in the cross-section view. Another option if you want to stake to a surface is to use the two strings option. This allows you to select two strings and stake out a surface between them. The surface will extend past the two strings, which can be very useful when setting out cross-sloping stakes.